This winter, why not curl up by the fire with your favorite team for the 2014 Toronto Blue Jays Holiday Special with classics like How the Beast Dodge Payroll Questions and A Buck Martinez Christmas Carol. What a great meal. Now I'm ready to tuck myself in for a long winter's nap. Oh my god, what is that? Oh, well, it's it's me, the ghost of ex-Toronto Blue Jays color commentator, Fergie Oliver. Here to warn you, Buck, you will be visited by three ghosts tonight. The ghosts of Blue Jays traded past, the ghosts of Blue Jays traded present, and the ghost of Blue Jays yet to be traded. I'm catcher of the future, Max Pentecost. Oh yes, Max Pendergrass, the Blue Jays catcher of the future is... Max Pentecost. Max Pentecost? Pentecost. Pendleburg. Pentecost. Pencarnacion. It's filled with pictures of ex-Blue Jays in the snow and a special musical guest. Come on, Tommy Can it be a day? And the 2014 Toronto Blue Jays Holiday Special is the only place you'll be able to see this holiday classic. Yes, sir. Well, our five-year contract policy is firmly in place. But no, sir. It's like I told you last year. We do have the flexibility to add. It just wasn't the right time. No, sir. No, sir. Goodbye, Bob McCowan. Good grief. I don't know how much longer I can keep this up. It's hard to build a winning team without the support of your owner. Oh, hello, Jose Bautista. What are you doing with that empty booster juice cup? You see, Alex, the winter meetings are a time associated with the signing of many free agents, including Aoki and Cabrera, Scherzer and Shields, Lester and Rasmus. Today, many Jays players express outrage that Rogers isn't signing the players needed to win. But I've taken it upon myself to collect the money we need to sign players in an empty booster juice cup. But we signed Russell Martin just a few weeks ago. While that is true, you still haven't upgraded the Rogers Center, which is the problem in the first place, making it hard, nigh impossible, for us to sign other high-end free agents. Good grief! I never thought Rogers Center was a bad little park. Maybe it just needs a little love. Jose was right, the stadium is falling apart, and people are throwing paper airplanes on the field. What should I do, Andrew Stoughton? So are we all going to just be a bunch of garbage clowns? Like, look around, nothing is fine, not for the Jays, but not for the Red Sox, or for the Rays, or for the Tigers, or the Royals, or even the Yankees. You know, that doesn't mean we have to kid ourselves about the difficulty of the situation. We can be upset about the way things are going. We can be upset at missed opportunities to make the team better, or that we have a bad stadium, or indifferent ownership, or the fact that, you know, guys who can't point to Canada on a map have us on their no-trade. But that isn't mutually exclusive to having an understanding of what a great situation the club is in. You know, the heights our history shows us we can reach. There's a lot of great possibilities that still exist along with the usual deflating ones. And this season is going to go how it's going to go. The front office is capable of what it's capable of. You don't have to be optimistic, but how about you stop groping around for reasons to get off the ride at every single possible fucking opportunity? You know, just quit your garbage clowning, suck it up, and show the world how proud you are to be Toronto Blue Jays. Not so fast, Brad Laurie. So remember, this year, you can't spell first in the AL East without the 2014 Toronto Blue Jays Holiday Special.